What's up guys, Tyler Casey here, and today I'm gonna walk you guys through on how to use our fire effects pack. We recently updated this pack and we added a lot more transitions and effects to it. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this in Adobe Premiere. If you guys wanna check it out in any other software, we have DaVinci Resolve and we're working on Final Cut tutorials. But you can also follow along with the Premiere tutorial since it is very similar for all platforms. So you're gonna have two downloads right here. You're gonna have the one of two and then the two of two. So you just wanna import both of these and these folders right here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now that we got all these uploaded, uh, I'm gonna start with uh, the ones that are pretty simple to use. We'll start with those. So these are just fire burst. Um, and the way we wanna use these is we can just go ahead and drag these over our footage. And uh, if they're not the right size, if you're editing in a different size, just feel free to right click and go to scale to frame size. Uh, so we play that through, we see the fire effects. Uh, to make this transparent, we just come up to effects controls and we change that blending mode to screen. Uh, you can also try lighten as well or yep uh linear dodge add that's pretty much how you use majority of these effects so like these embers right here we can drag those over go to screen play that and we get these ember effects simple as that super easy to use uh, we can also throw on some sound effects with that uh, we actually have a big long ember sound effect right here so you can easily drag on stuff just like that some of my favorites in here though are these fire frames. These are really cool. Uh, same thing as well. We're gonna change that blending mode to screen. And now we get fire along the sides. We also did include some LUTs uh, and I'm just clicking through these and you can see uh, different ones give different textures and different colors. So if you wanna change the color like that, you definitely can. Uh, Inferno definitely gives it more of a fiery look. This one is one of my favorites. Um, that's one I would recommend. So we have a lot of different LUTs in here that you guys can play around with uh, to see what it does to the fire. But let's say you don't want to use the LUTs, you can easily come into uh, select what you want to change the color of and we'll come over to curves and then we'll go ahead and change the hue to hue and we'll drag that around until we get a color that we like. If you did want to animate this though, you cannot animate in this. So what we would want to drag on is the HLS. So if we came over to effects, type in the HLS, drag that on, start with the hue right there. Then we'll move to the end and we'll just animate it. And as it plays, we see the color begin to change. So really cool, really simple, easy to use. So now let's dive into the little bit more advanced on how to do the transitions. With the paper burn transitions, uh, make sure we're organizing by name. You get two files per transition. Right here you have the track mat key, and then you have the actual overlay that makes the effect. So if I just drag on the overlay, let's say I want to transition between these two clips right here. Um, let's go ahead and play that through. You can see we just get a slow burn and everything's transparent. You can use these by yourself if you just want it like that. Uh, feel free to do so. But what I'm gonna show you guys is how to actually transition in between. Let's say I wanna transition between these clips. What I wanna do is I'm gonna have to make the cut and drag it right underneath. And then I wanna make a cut right here as well. Then I'm gonna come into effects. I'm gonna drag on track mat key onto the top clip. And then I'm gonna change, I'm gonna turn these back on. So we have this. I'm gonna change this right here and I'm gonna change that to video layer three. So you wanna change this to the track mat key. So I have them mixed up right now. Let's go ahead and drag that down. And it's still not working yet. So what we need to do is we need to change that to matte luma. And now we have the transition. So as you can see, we're getting a small little error on this outer edge. It looks like it's moving faster and that's because we do not have this scale to frame size. So there we go, now it goes perfect. So if there was, if you did have any type of scaling, like let's say this clip was punched in, it's not gonna work. So before you do this, you wanna make sure to right click and click nest before you add any of these effects. So you wanna make sure it has no motion applied to it. So now we get the clean burn transition. If we wanted to change the color of this, we would just select the top layer, come up to color, and we could go through, we can increase the saturation, and we can play around with the hue to get some different colored fire burns. Really cool, really simple. We get this nice icy blue burn. 
Oh, like it's burning really hot and then we're coming into this next scene. So those are my tips on how to use the fire effects pack. There's definitely a lot you can do. You can combine all the effects together. It's a lot of fun. We also have these simple transitions, which are really easy to use. And these are pretty simple. So let's transition. Let me duplicate this clip. We can easily change that blending mode to screen. And just like that, you can transition. We can also rotate this 90 degrees. We can scale it up and we can go left to right as well. So you can play with these however you want. If we wanted to go back the other way, we could just flip it. Uh, horizontal flip just like that and we're going right to left now actually it would be a vertical flip because I turned it 90 degrees so we have it going left to right now if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below I hope you guys enjoyed the update for this pack we worked really hard on it we shot a lot of cool footage and we had a lot of fun uh, updating this pack for you guys because we want to make our packs better and better over time and still bring value to you guys even with the old packs and provide free updates so hope you guys enjoyed this i'm tyler casey with cinepacks i'll catch you guys next time thanks for watching